Hi, in this video I wanted to show you how you would fix a kite or tent. Uh, I use mostly fixing the kite for the kite surfing. So basically what you would need is uh, you can buy directly the tape, the special tape for the reparation of the kite, the surface of it. But I use a double scotch tape and uh, I bought also from China a lot of fabric this type of the fabric or any similar fabric can work there's this type of the fabric can be from tents or anything and i use a scotch tape i put it on the fabric glue it one side and after that i cut a cut along it and uh, i have basically this type of the line whereas in one white side is the fabric another side is the the uh, two side scotch tape so basically when i unglue one side as you can see it sticks in this way i can cover the patch after covering the patch i using the sewing machine to be able to uh, to secure the patch because the glue isn't a permanent fix with the sewing machine this fix become permanent and the kite is good to go I'll show the kite I have uh, that I would be fixing. This is Ocean Rodeo kite. It uh, has one hole, as you can see, along the line. Uh, there's also a hole here. That's not really good because it will be really hard to to suit. Uh, there's also another hole on the top. And there's one more on the uh, black fabric. So I'll start with the longer one. I think this one will be the hardest because it's also having this part here that maybe I will need to sew a little bit manually. It will be easier like this. So the first thing it's from inside to take out completely the balloon out of the way. After that, we measure how long would be our patch. So here it's, I would say around this size. Uh, I always cutting the corners of the patch so it will be easier to sew and it will be nicer. Okay, so here's our one patch. The same thing we'll do from another side. I'll come in a second. Okay, let's continue. I have two my patches. Basically the first thing I am doing, I am planting the patch on the top surface, so as I showed you it's double adhesive. Oh, okay. So the patch application should be from the side. You look at the kite. I don't know. Yeah, you see it now. Good. And I will apply it so it can overlap a little bit the margins. So, oh. and I apply the patch along the line, and in the same time, I'm putting some pressure on it so it sticks really good to the surface. Okay, Okay. as you can see the patch is applied, I'll do the same thing from opposite side. As you can see this is our patch, I'm doing the same from other side. Okay. 
if you'll buy the repair kit that contains a tape from this material it will be much easier of course but I had the material and it's not so hard to stick the double layer scotch tape on it so basically I am doing the second part from here okay I would say if you don't have a sewing machine and you do this as you can see the patch of light is really good it's strong solid so it can resist even the wind as a temporary patch you can even use the kite like this but don't forget to apply the patch from two sides so it will uh, redistribute the pressure like this so this is basically the patch now I'll use the sewing machine I will do the line around it I'll use zigzag with three holes so I'll sew around the patch and it will be secured and I also will use something maybe to to attach it to the side of this thing maybe through the balance uh, I'll uh, not through the balance through the main uh, compartment I'll use the needle so I can sew a couple of spots so it will be tight all together and it will resist for a long time uh, the same thing I'll do with another hole I'm applying the patch on another hole in the same way so basically I'll come back in a second when I'll finish with another hole so I can show you how I'll uh, will sew around it okay I'll show you how you can fix uh, in the kite this type of the hole you see the hole is not big I'll use two patches as you can see it's from the same piece of fabric with uh, dual scotch tape on it dual side uh, I cut it two parts so I'll apply one from this side another from out the side and I will uh, surround uh, and it should be good to go so the same thing I'm removing I see so a lot of kites without even uh, sewing around only applying the patch and it's working fine it will work fine but uh, i'll do it like this so it will be like a permanent fix so i'm applying one patch from one side it's really easy to apply same thing i'm doing from opposite side From opposite side I can already see my patch because the hole is almost transparent so I'm applying patch from this side I use the same same size of the patch so uh, it will be like this okay in most of the cases people live like this because it will never go apart but I'll use the sewing machine so I can secure it in place it will be much better so for this uh, I don't think you would see all the process but basically this is machine I'll put in the balloon inside and I am uh, using it with the settings for the zigzag with three holes to do the patching. I'll sew it around and I will show you the result. Stay tuned. Okay, I wanted to show you one more uh, patch that I will apply. As you can see, there's a rip on the kite. I'll apply the black patch. And after that, I'll use the sewing machine so I can uh, put a line around it. And I will show you the final result, how it will look like. Maybe I will even film the process of sewing a part of it, so you can see how it is done. Thanks. As you can see, I applied the patch. It's almost not visible, but a lot of people live in like this. And uh, but the patches are light from two sides, in the front and on the back. 
I will also put the line uh, on the sewing machine so it will be secured uh, as a permanent fix. <laughs> when you put the kite inside the sewing machine, you basically need to know from which side to insert in this hole. Uh, you insert the one that's shorter basically. So I am checking the hole, now it's uh, almost in the middle uh, between the balloon and the end of the kite. So as you can see here is the balloon. Here's the patch, and from other end, uh, it's it's like this. So basically, uh, the balloon is too big, so I can insert the balloon here, but I wouldn't have a lot of place to play. I will use the opposite side, so I will insert it, and uh, in this way, it will be much easier for me to use. Okay, one second, I will insert it and come back. Okay. As you can see, I inserted the patch. I start from here. You can do it in two shots. You can go from here, the corner up to here. And after that, you can start the second one from here back. Sometimes if uh, it's enough space here, you can play around and do the full circle. It will be better. It wouldn't look so nice uh, on the line, but at least you would have one continuous line and uh, it also as I told depends how much fabric you have here as you can see I inserted the kite I have I have a lot of playroom here so maybe I would do even the whole circle so basically I'm uh, I will show you a small start so you can see I select from here I have a home simple machine uh, uh, Bravo sewing machine it's uh, set up five uh, and this is my settings and five is the zigzag as you can see from here so to start basically I'm keeping the hands here and uh, it will pull the fabric by itself I'm checking that the needle is in the correct position so when I press as I can as you can see it goes there oops I lost my line I will insert it back and come in a second Okay, as you can see, I insert it one more time. The line is in the back. Uh, as I told before, I don't do a lot, so this is maybe my third try. So for me, it's not really straight, the lines. When you do it more often, it will be much better. But uh, at least the patch will be solid, it will stay there, and you would never need to patch it again. It's much better than simply gluing it. So as you can see, it's inserted. I will do a small part because I need to keep the phone in my hand, the press the pedal, and in the same time move the fabric. Basically, it will be only the oh sorry my fingers. It will be only the first try, and after that, uh, I'll show you the final result. You can do it faster, I'm simply showing you how the needle moves in zigzag and I will need to cover whole patch around and it will be fine. I'll come in a second. Okay, I wanted to show you the final result. As you can see, it's not perfect, but the patch is, uh, the line is all over. Here I made it double because it was easy for me to turn. It doesn't need to be really perfect. The most important to be closer to the edge so it wouldn't rip off and from other side uh, oh, where's my patch? Push, 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 push. Okay. sorry for the camera and from other side as you can see this is the same patch when the kite will be inflated you wouldn't even see it to speak truly but uh, as I told, it's much better to secure it and it will be solid. I have somewhere also the white patch that I done before. As you can see, it's here. It's also not so nice, but uh, it will be. It was really hard to take the fabric. I wanted to attach also because it's close to the big one, so I made a small, small attachment around it, so it will stick really good to the balloon, and in the same time, it wouldn't uh, break it. So the most important one: internal balance. 
always keep away from the sewing machine because if you make a couple of holes it will be hard to replace it you need to remove it to put to glue it and so on so always keep your internal balance out of the sewing machine and that's all as you can see i made two patches on this side believe me they will be resistant i done this type of the patches before so they're really solid when you're doing on the white it's preferable to use the white line i simply use the black white uh, black line because i already have it had it installed on the machine but this is how i fix the kite so it's fine and i think anybody who ever used the tuning machine can do it or even for the first time at least you can try it's not so hard try it and comment don't forget to subscribe bye